Battle of Castleita. Here we have a map of Europe. This battle took place here in Austria at Itter Castle. The castle is located near the small town of Tyrol in the Austrian countryside. This battle was one of the last battles of World War II in the European theater, it is usually said to be the strangest battle of World War II. First of all let's take a quick look at the history about the castle. The castle fell into Nazi hands after the Anschluss of Austria in 1943 it was transformed into a prison for high-value French VIPs that would be transported there. The French VIP included tennis star Jean Boatra, resistance member François de la Roque, two former prime ministers of France Édouard Daldier and Paul Reynaud as well as several Eastern European prisoners. The castle was leased from its owner Franz Gruner in late 1940. The battle first started to kindle on May 3, 1945 when Zvonimar Kukovic communist resistance member left the castle for an errand given from Commander Sebastian Wimler. He carried a letter with him that was in English he decided to give it to the first American troop he saw. Since the closest town Wurgel was still under Nazi command he decided to go to Innsbruck around 40 miles away. He entered the city and came across an advance party consisting of the 409th Infantry Regiment of the 103rd Infantry Division of the U.S. Corps Vi Corps, he told them about the prison. While they could not mount a rescue operation themselves they could send a message to HQ for an answer. With the failure of Kukovic to return Wimmler decided to flee his post fearing that he got caught, with him gone the SS Totenkopf Verband also left, this leaving the castle free to the prisoners they armed themselves with what weapons remained. The prisoners decided to allow their cook to proxt with a similar plan. He succeeded in contacting Austrian resistance members. The cook was taken to Major Joseph Gangle who defied orders to rejoin the SS instead joining the resistance members and becoming their leader. Gangle hoped that Americans would assault the castle but was forced to go to them with a white flag. He found Captain Lee an American who commanded the 23rd Tank Battalion. Lee decided to help Gangle. With only Lee, Gangle a driver and a truck carrying 10 former German artillery men. They came across a few SS members attempting to create a road block. They defeated the few SS that were blocking the road and soon stormed up to the castle. French prisoners at the castle requested that SS officer Kurt Siegfried Schrader would lead their defense. Lee and Gangle arrived, the prisoners were happy on their arrival but were at the same time slightly disappointed on the small size of the unit. The prisoners could not escape as the forest around them were filled with SS units and Gestapo secret police who were looking to kill deserters and enemies of the Reich. Everyone set up defensive positions around the castle with Lee's tank Binion M4 Easy 8 Sherman guarding the front of the castle. During the night of May 5th, they were attacked by 100 to 150 units of Waffen SS troops. The defenders managed to get more help when Gangle telephoned but only able to secure three more troops one of them a 14-year-old. The M4 provided fire support before it was knocked out by an 88mm German anti-tank gun. The one crewman inside the radio operator got away with minor injuries. By the afternoon a relief force was dispatched. The 142nd Infantry Regiment arrived 12 hours later with the help of these troops the Waffen SS were soon defeated and around 100 SS members were taken prisoner. Gangle sadly died in the fight after he attempted to move former Prime Minister out of danger. Captain Lee was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross Medal. Gangle was honored as an Austrian national hero he was buried in the town of Wurgl. The battle was the only known instance of Germans and Americans fight together of the Second World War.